In this video tutorial, I will introduce basic solids. This is a cone. This one is pyramid. It is a prism. This last one is cube. I will explain how to make the solids for understanding the projections of solids. These are the developments for making the solids. Using this development, you can get a pentagonal prism. This development is for making cube. This is one base of the cube. Another base is somewhere here. This is the development of the tetrahedron. This is the development for the octahedron. This is the development for making pentagonal pyramid. This is the development for making cone. So, using these developments, you can make the solids for understanding projections of solids problems. So how to make solids from these developments? You have to cut the sheet along the marks given here. If you cut the sheets, there will be something like this. This is for making the cone. Now I will explain how to make a cone. You bend it something like this. Along the development you can bend. This is the lateral surface of the cone. So after bending it properly, using the cello tape, you can join it like this. You can join the surfaces as I am doing here. Now observe here, lateral surface of the cone is ready. Now to keep the base, you keep another circular shape, something like this. This is available here on the development. This is this piece. Now you bend it like this. And you insert this inside the lateral surface. As I am doing here, you insert like this. While inserting this, you can attach the silver tape, something like this. Now cone is ready. This is the cone. Next I will explain how to make a pyramid. Okay. This is the development of the pyramid. This is the development on the sheet. After cutting, it will be something like this. Then along these marks, you have to bend it like this. These developments are no need to draw. These are readily available in my website. You can download this development from the URL displayed on the screen. Now using cellular tape, you can join the lateral surface. Initially you can start joining with the lateral surface like this. This is called the lateral surface. You can join the lateral surface 
like this. After joining the lamellar surface, you just keep the base surface like this. Then using this tape, you can join. This is the development of the pentagonal pyramid. I will explain how to make a prism. So prism will have two bases. This is for lateral surface. The development is something like this. This is lateral surface. Here two bases I have placed adjacently. You have to fix this somewhere here. Like this, you have to fix this cut here and fix this here. Then you will get two bases. Now you first bend the lateral surface. As I am doing now, you can first bend the lateral surface. Then bend the base joining surfaces like this. This is for better grip and better joint only. These edges you have to bend like this. This you bend like this then as you first join the lateral surface this is the lateral surface with the puff similar tape first join the lateral surface Like this, then keep all these base edges inside, something like this. Then, with the help of this cellular tape, you can join. This is the prism. Now here you can clearly see the bases. This is first base. This is second base. These are all lateral surfaces. So this is a hexagonal prism. Based on the shape of the base, you can name the prism. Here base is in the form of a hexagon. That's why you can call this as a hexagonal prism.